Okay, you've got your guitar pretty close to tune. Uh, today we're going to talk about using a tuner to dial it in. And I think when you first start playing in your formative years of playing, and even now, it's always great to have an electronic tuner so you can just get your guitar in tune and play. Um, some people really love developing your ear and using a pitchfork, and I think that's really awesome too. And it just takes time, and you spend so much time doing that when you first begin, you're not spending any time playing. So um, we're going to talk about a tuner. Now, we a standard concert pitch is called A440, right? And that's when you hit your fifth string, which is A, and it vibrates 440 cycles per second, right? And so what we're going to do is get ourselves an electronic tuner or have some kind of time we clip to the top. And I'm just going to kind of, I think I can just show you this maybe. You might be able to just see, right, if I'm playing. You see that okay? See that little arrow right in the middle? I think you can see that. The little line going straight up and down. It's green. That tells us that note's in pitch. Now, if that arrow were to go to this side, right, that would mean it's flat and we need to tune it up a little bit. If it were to go to this side, it'd mean it's sharp. We need to tune it down a little bit. So any chromatic tuner is going to be able to read any note that you're playing. So um, when you play like a high E, should pick it up, you can be able to see this. Right, that's pretty close. Pretty close. Now check out this, let's, what, let's say we're a little flat. Right, can you see that? Little flat, we need to bring that A up just a little bit. So that means I need to lightly tighten the string, very slow increments, until it gets dialed in. So if we start off, we got close. Now we're gonna use an electronic tuner. Hopefully that answers how to use that. And next time I'll show you some cool tricks on how to tune using relational tuning on the guitar. See you soon.